Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, I wanted to do this little comparison of these two apps that I find a lot of people actually use nowadays. So pretty much what these two apps are called, one of them is called, and the other one is called. There's definitely a lot more out there like Bumble and all those other apps out there to, for dating and whatnot. But I wanted to do this video because I had a few people reach out to me to kind of do like a fun video of like a comparison of both and what I personally think of each app. So first off, let's just start with Tinder. So I feel like for Tinder, it's fun because you get an unlimited amount of swipe. But the fact that I feel like even though if you have unlimited amount of swipes, you're not getting the quality for the product. It's more of a fun dating, fun like app to use. Not so much for actually finding like a more quality, which is where Coffee Mate's Bagel come in. I feel like from all the experience that I have from different people using it, I would say that Coffee Meets Bagel is definitely much more quality because the probability of both apps of which one actually gets a more quality or like a longer relationship. So for Tinder, I haven't seen a lot of people get too much experience or like a really good quality long-term relationship. But for Coffee Meets Bagel, I found that a lot of my friends, I'll probably say like 60 to 80% of my friends that are close to me um, actually met from Coffee Meets Bagel. Whereas Tinder, I haven't seen anyone that actually met and stayed for a long time. I feel like the quality wise is definitely there for Coffee and Spagel, but for Tinder it's not there. So that's kind of like a small comparison of each. So now that we talked about the quality of the product, now let's talk about the ease of using it. So for Tinder, you can actually do unlimited swipe left and right. So if you guys don't like someone, you can pass and like. Whereas for Coffee and Spagel, you don't get unlimited likes or whatever you get a limited amount. So sometimes you get anywhere from three to eight or sometimes even more, sometimes less, or maybe you only get one. They kind of changing it around. So that's the part that kind of makes the quality that comes out of the product because you're stuck with that limited amount. You're not saying like, oh, I don't like this person. I don't like this person. You only stuck with three. So it kind of makes you kind of think about like, huh, should I pass on this person or should I like on this person? Whereas Tinder, you get like an unlimited amount of like passing and swiping left or right. So it's not that much of a quality because you get a lot more option. Whereas like Coffee Meets Bagel, they kind of like use different algorithms to figure out how, what your preference is and the way you kind of looking at different person on the app. So now that we talked about the quality and the ease of the product, now to answer the question of which one is more worth it, in my opinion. For me, both of them are actually really worth it depending what you're looking for and what you're kind of on the app for. So if you're kind of just having fun and you kind of like just want to play around, then I'll have to say that Tinder is definitely the way to go if you guys want to use it for fun or for like just talking and having someone to chat with you and whatnot. Not too much for quality. Like don't get me wrong, there's definitely people who met from Tinder that has good quality and whatnot as well. But I just feel like for Tinder is not as good quality. So there's that for Tinder. Now, so for Coffee Meets Bagel, I feel like it's more of like a quality definitely because how you're limited to using a certain amount of people that you're getting every day and you get to discover new people and pay, pay and you're pretty much paying like bagels or beans, beans, I think it was beans. You're paying for beans to like get a better opportunity of those people on the discover page. So you're definitely limited, but then they actually give you a much higher and better quality of each person that is on that list. And then the chances of actually getting a fake person on uh, Coffee Meets Bagel is much less than Tinder. So for those of you guys who actually use both of these apps, you guys will definitely know that when you're on Tinder, you get a lot of fake people on there or like people that are using a scam thing. For example, something, some of the stuff that I experienced using Tinder is the fact that like sometimes when you're swiping right, you notice that, wait, I never swiped for this person. How are they on my list? So I'm not sure if it's some way that they hacked in the system or Tinder is sending you that on purpose, or I don't know what the case may be. But that's one thing that's really weird about Tinder. So the other thing about Tinder is that when you're swiping right, sometimes you see like someone who swipe right for you and you think, oh, okay, let me try to start a chat with them. Sometimes they don't even want to talk to you. Which leads me up to the next thing, chatting. I feel like for Tinder, like, it's just horrible when it comes to chat because people don't want to talk to you on there. Whereas Coffee Meets Bagel, there's actually a higher chance people actually want to talk to you. I'm not sure they choose like the most actively person on Coffee Meets Bagel to chat with you, to um, match with you or whatever the case may be. But for Tinder, I've noticed that a lot of the time they don't talk to you. 
I don't know if they purposely choosing those people to make you like, oh, why did not make you think about why they're not talking to you or the reason why they're not talking to you and kind of make you think like, oh, this person is fake. So like a couple of scenarios that I ran into for Tinder is the fact that sometimes I get a swipe right and I swipe right for them and they swipe right for me. And then when we actually get matched, the first thing they sent me is like, hi, here's my kick or K-I-K. And at that, and the first time when I got that, I was like, what the hell is kick? Like, who uses Kik? What is Kik? What does it even mean? What is it? Like, I had no idea. But then, every time I got a message like that, I noticed, like, I kind of analyzed each one of those people, and I noticed that every single one of them are, like, fake people that are trying to, like, get you into, like, meeting up and having, like, a, it's, my, it's definitely a scam or something. So definitely watch out for that if you guys are using Tinder. So there's that for Coffee Meets Bagel versus Tinder. But to answer which one is more worth it for me, after that long description of both apps, I have to say that I have to give it to Coffee Meets Bagel because even though you don't get the swipe right like a thousand times, you get the quality of getting that person that you might find, that you might love one day, and you never know. Tinder is like a whole nother story of a wild ratchet side. You don't even know what's gonna happen, but you definitely get friends there to talk to. And especially when you're traveling, both of these apps are really useful. But when you use Coffee Meets Bagel, you're limited, so you can't really find as much people to meet up. Whereas Tinder, you definitely can meet a lot of people using Tinder, especially you go to other countries that are not in the US. That's the other thing that I noticed. Like, people in the US are very, very, very safe, I guess. I don't know the word for it, but they don't really like to chat or meet up with you. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed making this video because it was a little fun video to make, but. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.